This is WCIA 3 News, your local news leader. Last month, more than a thousand protesters stripped naked in front of Facebook headquarters in New York, angry over the company's stance against artistic nudity. How much is too much to show or see? Our Matt Metcalf found a local case with a similar spin. That's from the vault. The Facebook protesters argued that if it was okay to show a man's chest in picture or video on Facebook, then it was okay to show a woman's. About 30 years ago, men and women came together to say they didn't want to see anything, protesting shirtless men on the golf course. When the temperatures soar, so do the number of people not wearing shirts. And while it's not unusual to see a shirtless swimmer, runner, or lawn trimmer, some people draw the line when it comes to bare-backed golfers. I don't think it's right to take off your shirt out there, really. Personally, you know, when you go out golfing, you don't want to look like, you know, an idiot out there. This year, after receiving several complaints, Decatur Park District adopted a dress code, similar to most country clubs. Shirts are now required for golfers on its almost half-dozen public golf courses. Halter tops and bikinis are banned. Golf supervisor Rick Anderson says it's all part of upscaling Decatur's golf program. We want it to become more upscale, you know, put in more money in maintenance, put in more things in our shop, uh, provide better services. All of these things go along with upscale golf, and that was our objective, and part of it is, you know, proper attire. Other area golf courses are following suit. A Mattoon Country Club, which has required shirts with sleeves for men, is now requiring the same for women. One man who wouldn't comment on camera says he thinks dress codes are ridiculous and infringe on his freedom. When you're just out here having a good time, trying to get some sun, well, you're, well like me, my golf game's kind of bad anyway, so I, got, <laughs> I have other reasons to come out here. A tournament time, I think, when you have a dress code and stuff, definitely I think they should have shirts on and stuff, but it doesn't bother me any other time. Some golf course managers say while they don't have a rule requiring that shirts be worn, they said they would prefer golfers to wear shirts to help improve the course's image. I think we'd have a clientele that looked more like golfers instead of beach bums. Duran says he's afraid imposing a rule would cost the course and lost green fees. But for many golfers, the mandatory shirt requirement is no problem. In fact, some have self-imposed the rule. It don't affect me one way or the other. Not with my physique. <laughs> Indicator, Judy Brown, the Channel 3 News at 10. We called a random variety of local golf courses, and all of them said it is now required to wear shoes and shirts when playing golf. From the vault, I'm Matt Metcalf.